All right, how y'all doing out there? This is Pete over at DIY Auto School, and my channel consists mostly of automotive stuff. But I make all my videos, I edit all my videos, and it's very important that I make high quality videos for you, the viewer, to learn. Now, I use Sony Vegas Movie Studio. That's what we're opening up here. This is actually platinum, this is 13. I have it all the way down to 10, and that's what I use to make my videos. I also use uh, Windows Movie Maker, but uh, I use this as well. So what we're going to do today, and this is uh, something that really can irritate you, is I'm going to show you how to make a scrolling title using Sony Vegas products. Now when I say Sony Vegas products, I'm talking about all the way from 10 up to 13. Um, like I said, we're using 13. You can see that platinum 13, and it'll probably work on 14 as well when 14 comes out. So I'm going to show you how to make your titles or your scripts or your uh, text scroll from top to bottom, or possibly maybe you want it to go from uh, uh, bottom to top, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. What we want to do is go over to the movie generators. Hit your legacy text, not the title in text. We don't want that. That's title text. That's the default. We don't want that. We want legacy text. The two top text patterns are the ones that we're going to concentrate on. Now, I don't have a video on my timeline, so we're going to stick with the solid background text. That would be like if you split your video and you want to put a text in between it or possibly you want to put a title in front of it or maybe credits at the end the one that you see right here with the checkerboard the the gray checkerboard two-tone gray that is for your titles that if you want to put them on top of your video or picture montage or whatever you're doing in your timeline so we're going to stick with the black background, the solid background one. We're going to drag that down into our timeline. You can see that it popped up here. Now this is really important. Before you do any typing, you must do all your settings. When I say settings, I'm talking about properties and scaling. The scale is very important when texting. The one that I have found out that works the best is either 36 or 28. Either one of those will fit in here good if you are making a scrolling text. We're going to go with 36 because we'll be able to read it better on the screen. But if you're doing a lot of text that you want to scroll up, these are the two sizes that I suggest is 36 or 28. The next thing we want to do before we do any typing, we want to make sure that our placement is in the center. We don't want it over to the right. We don't want it to the left. We want it right in the center. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to properties. This is where we are going to make the color of our text and the background color. Now I'm going to leave my background black, but if you want to change your background color, all you got to do is come over here and you can see that the background color will change. We're going to leave it black. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and make our letters the color that we want our text to be. So I want it to be red. Now you can see that it turned to the red. This is very important that you do this first. Once you have set your background color and your text color, you are basically done with your settings. The next thing we want to do is go back to editing and pick the font that we want. So we're going to go ahead and pick a font, just like you're going to see me do right here. And now what we have is we have the color of the background, we have the color of the letters, we got the size of the letters, we also got it centered up, and we got the font that we want. We're going to go ahead and highlight that, just like you saw me do. Uh, left click on your mouse and highlight it, and then we can start typing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just type randomly, and then it's going to be kind of long because we want to show you how to scroll. So we can't just put three or four words. So we're going to go ahead and write, hi.
Okay, you can see that we got text here and we can't read all the text in there. So this is what we're going to do. Now that we have set everything, we got our settings set up, we got our text, this, that, and the other. Watch my cursor as I take it down to the bottom left corner. It says animate. Click on it. Now you're going to see a timeline that just popped up. At the beginning, you'll see a little triangle. That's going to be our timeline where we're going to make this thing scroll. Now, anybody that uses uh, Windows, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Movie Studio Platinum, Sony Vegas, they know what timelines are. They know what the little triangles are for, blah, blah, blah. This is for the beginners of doing this. This is a situation that's kind of hard to figure out, and that's why I'm doing this. We're going to go up here to Placement. You can see a little box just popped up, and here's our text right here. Before you do any placement, go up here to where it says Freeform. You want to go ahead and put Center. Now we are ready to make our text scroll. So, as your timeline is at the beginning over here with that triangle, we are going to grab our text at the very top right there. You can see the little hand grabbing it. And we're going to pull our text down. You can see where it's moving right to where it's about in the middle of the gray area. Keeping our text in the middle. You want to make sure that you keep it right in the center. Then you're going to come over here and hit that triangle, the keyframe, and we're going to add one by hitting the plus sign. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our cursor and go all the way over to the very end. And then we're going to grab our text at the top. See how I'm grabbing that with the little hand? and we are going to drag it up to the top to where it ends right in the center of the gray area. Now a little triangle just popped up here. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the minus button and then we're going to hit the plus button. And I believe that should have made our text scroll. Let me get this out of the way a little bit so I can see what's going on here. And then as we hit play you can see that it scrolls. Now, the problem that we have here is that's scrolling pretty quick. I don't like the way it scrolls. It's going really fast, and we can't read it. So now that we have tested it out, and we've done everything we've done with our Media Generator Legacy Text program, we are going to X out of that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here, and you can see my cursor as it turns into a double-sided area. It's called a Trim Event End Machine. You're going to hit your CTRL button while your cursor is on that line. And then, as you can see right below, all right, watch how I do this. Right below that, you can see there's a little squirrely line. We're going to left click our mouse, hold down, and we are going to drag that. And what that's going to do, that's going to slow motion our text, which will make it easier and more legible for us to read instead of going very quick. We'll go ahead and start here. And now you can see that it slowed it down. You can read what's going on with it. Everything's saying, my friend Pete, let's shake a hand, make a friend. Thanks for watching. Please comment and please subscribe. Right there. That is how you make scrolling text for your videos that you are making. And I hope that this helped you out. Please watch it again and learn. That's all I can tell you. This is called a point and click learning experience when it comes to using this program like any other program. It takes many, many hours to figure out how to use all these little buttons up here. My suggestion is this button here is worthless. Don't use it. Unless you plan on sitting there for hours and hours and reading stuff that doesn't make sense. The best way to learn how to do this, point and click, start over, point and click, start doing stuff, and you, the viewer, will learn how to do this very, very quickly. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. That would be very grateful for you to do that. For my friend Pete, as I make all my videos, for you to watch, listen, and learn. I'm going to X out on that. I'm not going to save it. And we are now done recording for the day. Goodbye.